One of the really worrying shots that, that was turned over to us for film two was the shot of, of Legolas leaping up onto the horse at the start of the wag attack sequence. Because at first we just couldn't see how it could possibly work. You know, I'd love to, to say that that shot was very carefully planned and uh, it was the way it was supposed to be, but it was actually arrived at by total accident, a total fluke. Apparently what happened that day is Orlando broke his rib falling off a horse. We had rehearsed something for that, that leap up onto the horse. We'd rehearsed the, we'd rehearsed the moment for that, but we hadn't, um, but because of the injury, I, I wasn't able to shoot it. So I just literally did this. The turnovers that we have with Peter are quite funny to see, actually. Uh, we sit in a room and uh, he tries to uh, see how many drop jaws he can get <laughs> out of one of these turnovers, because he'll, he'll just sort of present these shots and just say, oh, here's just a little shot where we just need to add Legolas jumping onto this horse. And, and everybody will sit there in dead silence and look at each other like, what does he mean? He said, okay, this really needs to be like, like uh, a Russian circus performer. This needs to, just needs to be something really dramatic, someone who knows that, that animal and can just fly up on top of it. And so, of course, what we do is, you know, we do a quick transition on the turn from the, the real Legolas to, to a digital double. And it's the combination of that transition working well with the fact that the, you know, the animation completely worked that, that has made that shot very successful. People just don't even know how it was done. By the time I got into post-production on The Two Towers, I had this kind of important battle scene that w didn't really amount to anything other than empty plates. There basically was these plates of Rohan just running through the battlefield, sort of Monty Python, waving their swords and, and horses sort of galloping from one side to another, you know, packing at, at nothing. I chopped together bits of these background plates in a, in a way in which I thought it would make for a busy kind of fight. I then um, spent a lot of time with the animators at Weta and we sort of figured out, okay, if this is a shot of these horses doing this, what could the wags actually be, be doing? We were piecemealing it together really at that point. Uh, we were trying to find actions that worked and then find plates that we could make those actions work in. There's a lot of stuff going on digitally in that sequence that people may, may not realise just how complex it was for us. Huge amount of animation. One of the big tasks for the animation department on, on, on the show, because there's so much animation going on in some of those shots. The last instructions I gave to Weta were to give me five or six shots that had good punctuation. I said, look, and the fight's kind of working now, and what I need is I just need some real good quick slam-bang shots. Wags jumping towards the camera. You know, a rider might fall off and almost wipe the camera out. Sort of punctuations, I call them. And, and then I was able just to take those last four or five shots and sort of dot them in here and there just to kind of jazz it all up. 